most women um, have a right and even when it comes to relationships when your man is cheating you don't go after your man you go after the woman yeah. Yeah. why why do we do that I can't get it. your man is the one who's cheating so now why are you going after the woman unless if the woman is your friend then then I'll trap her yeah. because she knows I like, get but if it's someone that you, she doesn't know yeah but anyway I'm so honored to be here and um, I will share my story because I believe when you share your own story, it does inspire people, unlike me talking about things in general. You know, when you share your story and your true story and your true self, I think that's one of the things that I truly believe that will inspire other women. Whether young or old, it doesn't really matter. I'm from Bloemfontein, uh, that's where I grew up. Um, I was born there, high school, primary school, that's, that's where my life was and still is. Um, I'm Kohairi Fife, um, I'm the fourth one and my mom and my dad divorced when I was about seven. But because back in the days, in our street, there was only one household with a man. One household that had a man and a woman raising children. Everyone in that street, nearly the Bogoto, single woman. And at the time, I only realized later as I grew older and got into relationships, and I realized, well, actually, my dad leaving me somewhere, somehow, affected how I relate with men. But when you are young, like, your life has to go on. You go to school, you play. Okay, sometimes you feel it when you see other people with their dads. But one thing that I like about Banaba now, some of them, or most of them, are more hands-on Gobanin than our dads back in the days. They really try. Because our fathers back in the days, when they divorced their mother, they divorced the children as well. I'm one of those people who knew at a very young age what they wanted to do. And it, it, if Luena, right now, there are people who are still trying to figure out, and it's fine. Same with business. You will try sell cakes. You will try sell kittens. You will try do events, but eventually, if you are a praying woman, you will find your purpose, yeah. eventually. So luckily, I was one of those people who knew at a very young age, Hore, nah, I don't have any other plans. All I want is to be an actress. And where the love came from, it came from a subject when I was still in high school called Art and Culture, where you, we used to come together and come up with topics, and then we will act it out. And I was like, every time I'm on stage, something comes out. Like, there's more life and there's more... Oh, Papa Ho didn't just... Gee. Or maybe, okay, it's fine. Maybe I was born with it. But I found myself when I was very young. And then high school, I finished my matric. And then, obviously, now is the stress of trying to find the funds to, to go, to come to Johannesburg and study acting. And with that career, it's very tricky because there are no getting no fundings or bursaries they're not as many as when you want to be a doctor or when you want to be an accountant and whatnot so i struggled and because my mom is a praying woman and she taught us at a very young age what, what's the meaning of prayer and what it means to communicate with god i, I prayed all the time and i remember praying and asking god oh god okay i want to be on screen i want to act i want to do theater but Mayemo, the situation at home, doesn't allow. But what made me believe it is that every time I dream about it, I used to see it. I don't know if I'm making sense. I saw myself on screen. I saw myself, back in the days, the only um, so pure as generations that I used to watch. I saw myself on generations. I saw myself on SABC. And I'm like, it will happen because I saw it. So even now, going back to whether you have a business now or not, if you don't see it, it's not, it's not going to happen. You have to see it. And by you seeing it, you have to put effort into making sure that every day you confess with your mouth, with your tongue, that I will get it. I will get it. It doesn't matter. At, at this moment, go fella, we don't have um, kind of capital. At the moment, maybe we don't have capital at all. But, but you want it, and it's going to happen. So fast forward, I was looking for surety so I can study and then no one was willing to be my surety because you know most people are weird like that. Yeah. Eh, eh, what if Utuba pregnant when she gets to job? Eh, eh, it's a risk, all, all those things. And then one day my drama teacher um, who used to help us get the extramural activity at school, he, suggest, he offered to be my surety. 
And then when I, that's when I saw her, Mudimu Uteng, Mudimu Apila. Because a stranger can come out of nowhere and rescue you from whatever that you're going through. He came out of nowhere, he's not family, he didn't have to do it. And then he became my surety. And then I came to Johannesburg to study. Now with all those struggles and the pain and knowing how it feels like to go to bed without food, all those things made me who I am today. Because every time I, because more life in, let's be honest, varsity is very, you know, temptations. You wanna go out, you wanna drink, there's boys, and, and. But every time I thought of home, I'm like, you can't lose track, girl. Everyone go high, but it's like, yeah, you got mono fell like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna come back pregnant, she's gonna come back. Like, people are negative. Yeah. And I liked what the, uh, the speaker said about negativity, kinto za haliki old fashioned, stop it. Don't do that. Don't be negative. Always be positive because how only positive things become lighter. Negativity it weighs you down. So I came here and then I studied and then I finished and then I went to auditions. I auditioned and I auditioned and I didn't get them and I didn't get them. And obviously that affects you and your self-esteem. Then one day I went to Rhythm City to audition. I didn't get it and I was so pissed off and I stopped watching it and then <laughs> and then I think two months after that I went to Scandal to audition I didn't get it and I got pissed off I stopped watching and one time after like two weeks or three weeks I got a call from Scandal Barry they want me to come again to audition so in my mind I thought I'm going back for a callback for the character I auditioned for two weeks ago when I got there I auditioned and I got it the same day so now I'm like okay God knew that it was not my time. Yeah. And God knew that the only person who can play this character the way I do is going to be me and no one else. Yeah. And that time when somebody else for Rhythm City got it, it was their time, yeah. not my time. So understanding the, the, the importance of timing is very important. Because Mudimu unfortunately won't operate your timing. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Karo, timing, it doesn't work like that. And sometimes it's human nature to be impatient. Be like, God, I've been putting so much effort into this baby. I've been putting so much effort. No one is watching me. No one is seeing me. Because in two years, it will all make sense. And then later on, um, I got to scandal and I auditioned and I got it. And today you are looking at me and I'm here. And even with that, I realized that we, I, I want to change the narrative of you have to go to school, finish school, and work for someone. You know, that's what we learned. Like, you have to finish school and work for someone. Yes, maybe that's where you're going to start, but that's not where you're going to end. Yes. And that's why we're here, yes. to remind ourselves as women that, yes, you can have a boss, yes, you can be someone else's accountant, guy, guy, but this is not where it's going to end. And I want our children to know that that is not the only way of life. Let's teach them about entrepreneurship. Even about entrepreneurship, how I got into it. One thing I can tell you for free is that not everyone is born an entrepreneur, and that's the truth and effect. Because sometimes you see Tato doing it, and I think, I, I can also run a shop. I can also open this. Not realizing that maybe unless she was born with it, and whether you have to learn the skills. It doesn't mean it's impossible. But sometimes you have to make sure that either you go back to school to do those short courses to, to understand more about business or you partner with the right people. And that's what I saw her now. I give more 20 numbers, I give more 20 entrepreneurs, but I'm very good when I partner with people. And even with partnership, you have to pray about it. Because partnerships are very tricky, it's just like marriage. You're signing something who from now on today to, to do the end of this business, we are one. We have to believe in the same things. Because sometimes I always see people saying, oh, tell me, let's partner into this thing. And I'm like, I can be a good friend, but I'm not a good partner. Mm -hmm. And that's a fact. And sometimes that's where we blur the lines of wanting to be a partner your friend because you think because she's my friend, I know her better. No. <laughs> and th that's also still fine. So even when you're thinking of this entrepreneurship and thinking of partnering, be careful. Who you partner with because that's important and the next thing you partner with someone who you know when profit comes in you're not on the same page about the business and i think the very important thing is ask god to bring the right people in your life and he will 
and ask him to remove those who are not supposed to be in your circle. And he will remove, and you know how he removes them? He doesn't come and take them. You will start seeing very dodgy things. You will start seeing very mikolot. You will, they will hurt you and you will realize, oh, oh my God, all my life I've been pushing this life. Limo Toso. But God is like, I can't you ask me, my child, to remove the negative people in your life. Now I'm doing it. Remove and move on. And then how it came with the business, um, with God, I don't want to lie, that was my husband's dream. And I was supporting it. But how I supported it was, you know, sometimes that's also true partnership. Well, he can run the engine and I will use my stardom to push it. And that's what we do. When you now always say to my fellow actors as well, the power of the stardom, we have it. I'm not gonna lie, when I walk into a room with you, the chances are people are gonna listen to me than you because I give away now you're not on screen. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean oh, oh, there's anything wrong with you, that's a fact. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. If I walk into a boardroom with an unknown person, Tato, I get an unknown, I get an unknown, I get an unknown, I get an unknown, I don't know if you're getting me. If I walk into a room with you and we wanna pitch an idea, unfortunately, the more attention is gonna be on who? Me, because I'm on screen, not for or anything like that. And I always say, Kere, when you are like that, know how to use that because it's a gift. Yeah. Every day when I go to set, when I shoot, I'm honoring God because that's the gift that he gave me. So even if we are an accountant or a cleaner or a teacher, do it at the time because you honor God. And even when you pray, don't ask God, no mayini baba, right now things are tough, no mayini. No, be specific. Tell him how much you want your business uh, to profit. I care about we must tithe or, or give back to the community. He will give it to you back. Not very specific. I'm like, God, this year, I give you a salary. Please make a plan. And he will make a plan. Profit here, business here, guy. I have to help you. problems because you are not specific. Let's be specific. Let's start praying dangerous prayers. Let's go, oh, Father God. It now starts. It kind of a translation in English. Um, a poem. Even though you don't even have to, because it's it's in your mind. Start praying dangerous prayers, because unfortunately, with this entrepreneurship, it's tough. It is tough. Some people risk and they leave their full time jobs to focus on this thing. It is. It's just like raising a child. It's your baby. It is tough. And then after God, obviously COVID happened, and then we had to move from Santon inside uh, Banner World. And now that's when I realized, well, also, my other love, or not, I'm not going to call it passion, every time I wear something on Instagram, people want it. It doesn't like a plastic, a black plastic, when I post and pose. Where did you buy that black plastic? Where did you buy it? Yo, it's so nice. Sometimes I wear my shoes from Pep. Oh, where did you buy those shoes? And I'm like, okay. I used to post for other people, and I think that's why God blesses me, because I'm very generous. And I don't take myself too seriously. So when someone sends me a DM, I want to send you my whatever, please come and wear it. This lady used to send me uh, um, African print stuff, and I love her work. And she was honest enough to say to me, Mapaseka, every time you post for me, my business does well. I think you can do this. Let's do it together and see what happens. And I'm like, oh, she's not jealous. And in this day and age, we can come to you and say, hey, when you post for me, I get clients. Let's do this together. And, and, and she's a lovely lady, and we, we partnered on Uzuri, and that's when I opened my own clothing shop called Uzuri. And it's doing well because I realized, okay, actually, I can. And I will. And guess what? If it doesn't work out, it's fine. I tried. I will find something else to do. Because sometimes we get so scared for it. If it doesn't work out, Avantu Bazuti, they're going to laugh at me. If it doesn't work out and it closes down, now I'm honest. I will do my couple Friday about it. Yo! I opened a business, it didn't work out. I'm moving on to the next one. So with entrepreneur, I realized for a bit. I realized for a 
it's just like raising a child. Some days you're going to feel like you don't want to do it. Some days are going to be hard. Finding the right people to work for you. Oh Lord, have mercy. They will steal from you. <laughs> they will lie to you. It doesn't matter what type of business you have. If you have someone that works for you, sometimes it gets so difficult. Whether you do hair, they will steal your hair piece. <laughs> and uh, what also bothers me is that even when you hire these people trying to, to empower them, to teach them, to train them, they do something behind your back and hurt you. That's how it is. But sometimes when they work for white people, they don't do that. Yeah. They, even, they even go to the extent of calling them mem. Say. When now, what will share about you? You'll be like, if you are younger than them, it's worse. If you are younger than them, guy age, it's worse. So, oh, this woman, when I know bit, they see you going up and down with your car thinking you got it all figured out and you don't. So let's also pray for the right workers to come to us because I believe there are good people out there with good hearts. And Eluana, as a business owner, don't be selfish about your knowledge. If you have a receptionist, empower them. Second half, men are selfish and they love themselves. How Every night I play poker with my friends. He's not going to stop because of you, but we do it. I don't think it's fair. I'm not saying, okay, so there are certain things that will change because yeah, you're in a serious relationship. Right. If you used to go out going to, okay, gong, gane, taboo, maybe that will stop and I'm happy for you. But let's be selfish about ourselves yeah. and love ourselves. Because if you don't love yourself, unfortunately, he's not going to love you. Now, I always say, even on Instagram, when you post a picture on Facebook or Instagram or wherever, why don't you like it first? When? I can't see your picture. Who's okay? From who? You will call am like from us. When you don't like your own picture first. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. No, that's crazy. Like your own picture. Unfortunately, if you tell yourself that you are ugly, I have a, I have bad news for you. You are ugly because you told yourself that. Yeah. So when you oh, wake up in the morning, I always tell myself, you know, you know, girl, things might not be going the way you want them to go, but um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm feeling you know, yo. If I don't have a time again, okay, send in a call back. I dial myself, I call myself. Let's call ourselves, let's dial ourselves. You don't if you don't have a time, send yourself a call back. Yeah. We are beautiful, we are powerful, we are made different. Like this thing of 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 it's very dangerous. You don't know what this woman have to do at night to get these cars that you want. I sleep. I sleep because I don't have to do anything I don't want to do because of a car. You see, Mama Seka posting her car or her business, can you don't know how she got it? And then when you put yourself under unnecessary pressure because you want to be like Mama Seka. That time, Mama Seka is soon. We are doing it. For immortal. When you do something, if you hear something about someone, or if you hear something about me, you know, you must know I wanted to. I didn't have to. Yes. And let's operate like that. Let's not. Let's. You can. You can still dream and be content at the same time. The situation is right now. You are here. You don't have a car, but you want a car. But it doesn't mean that you have to do things that you don't. You don't want to do to have a car. Yes. Let's not be fooled by social media. Yes. It's all a lie. I'm not gonna post myself crying. You don't post like happy all the time. All the time. Even when you are when you are breastfeeding, the reality is the other boob is leaking. That's the reality. What car I'm out for content? A car that's in your mouth, the lace that's in your makeup, up, up, up. When I my to my mother, is not going away, and my, my baby is like 10 years old. Hey, sweetheart, sit in, sit breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in, and now do something about it. People don't sleep at night. We hear things, we hear scary things that women have to do to maintain a certain lifestyle. And that is not, and especially if you're a mother to a daughter. Who has daughters in here? It's our duty to make sure that those girls learn nice things. Karuna. Yeah. Well, some of us, we learned fucking knife from boyfriends because boyfriends took us out. 
You know what I mean? You learned to go to a restaurant because of a boyfriend took you to a restaurant. Your own father was alive, couldn't take you to a restaurant. So let's change that. But Pilamo Nat, if you can, one day we go back off and I'll get first class to Dubai and you shake our ass in the yacht. That's like the yarn. But if you have a husband who's bowling, it is well with your soul, it's fine. But you don't have to do something that you don't want to do. Mudimu omoholu, God is powerful. And I always say, closing down, um, what you want wants you. Women, beautiful women, what you want wants you. If you want bad things for yourself, if you want bad things for yourself, they are going to happen. If you want great things for yourself, they are going to happen. God is powerful. God is with the king. Mudimo umata and hold on to that faith that you have. Hold on to it. Whether it's a bad relationship or a marriage that you are in, whether it's a business that you don't understand, or you're trying your best but it's not working out, I promise you, he will make a way for you. He always does and he will. And don't look good. You know when that when a horse is when a horse is riding. When a horse is <laughs> it's not looking on the left or on the right. Focus. Slay in your lane. If you are driving picanto, slay a picanto ya haulala, you will get to where you're going. We all are going to go to a destination in different transports. Yeah. Some are on a bicycle, yeah. some are on a train, some are walking, some are flying, some are just like not ready to start walking. But at the end of the day, Sizo Figa. And if Naki Figa before when, don't think, oh, no, I'm, one, I'm God's favorite or I'm going to a Sangoma. No. It's my time. No Sangoma can change God's time. Yes. Sister, you will bath in those things and talk to the bath. <laughs> but if it's not your time, it is not your time. I give you, you take, you take what they said. Oh, you know why sometimes, you know why sometimes those things work? It's not them, it's your time. I give you a commanding yeah. something to happen. I give maybe they gave you rough salt. salt yeah. salt. You can still talk to your water with a foam bath, man. <laughs> with that foam bath, yeah, I go shop right. We tell her all the foam bath. Because that oh, that's sound like the green. Because you're you're confessing it and you're saying it over and over again with your tongue. It will happen. And next thing when you go back to your song, come oh yo, I lent on neither the SMS. That time, go say Benza, your tongue. Because you believe in it. The power of the mind. Whatever that you believe in, it will happen. Sometimes not, when I'm tired, this is the trick that I do and it works for me. When I'm tired and I'm sad, things didn't go well for me. When I get into the shower, I always, it's like I'm showering off the negative energy. I stand in the shower and I communicate. I'm washing off this bad energy that I'm feeling. I had a bad day at work. Things didn't go my way, but I'm not going to bed with this. Yeah, but yeah, I, I'm washing it away. I'm gonna go to bed tomorrow. It's gonna be a new day, and I'll try again. So let's not communicate with those things. Your tongue, telephone, bath, and oh, it will it will it will happen. Thank you so much, ladies. Um, I'm wishing you, each and every person here. I'm wishing you nothing but the best, and I pray for all your businesses to go well. That everything that you touch, it will be magic, and you will be continue. Luena, in your own corner, in your own little world, empower other people. Like she said, giving back is it's, it's, it's not always mm. Giving back is being nice to people, being kind to people, genuinely asking people, how are you doing? Yeah. Anything I can do to make your day um, 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 you know, happy and whatnot. So, Mudimu Mukhulu, let's, let's not give up. We have a long way to go. We have children to raise. Mm. We have so much for ourselves. Whether or 40, 50, 39, it doesn't matter. God is God and God is good.